Greetings, this is Earthman from Origami Living Soil, home of Grovana, the number one inoculant for soil and plant on the market. That's just my opinion, but I'm sure if you ordered it, you would see the same for your plants and for your health. May God bless you this day. I hope he's uh, blessing you, I really do. What are we talking about today? Um, uh, inoculating my compost. Uh, I inoculated two piles, one over there I'm going to show you underneath that tarp, I'm going to keep it covered. And then this, uh, a mix of brown and green, carbon and nitrogen, uh, basically uh, brown leaves and um, green leftovers from my garden, different parts, some grass clippings, things like that. And uh, that's going to provide the nitrogen it needs for the energy, and then the carbon's going to provide the carbon you know whatever it's going to provide the body of the compost and so um, I threw on there some Grovana got a bucket of it over here uh, got plenty always got plenty if anybody wants to order it you'll have it ready and in your house within five days and um, now what's up with Grovana uh, it's a mix of different IMOs different bacterias and uh, GMOs, I like to call or not GMOs, but uh, DMOs, dominant microorganisms. So it's a mix of my own brands of IMOs and uh, DMOs, not GMO. There's no GMO in this. <coughs> so what do I mean? Well, I got different IMOs I've collected around New York State and Vermont and um, Maine and a lot of other places. Uh, really nice, rich soil uh, sources and mix it into my IMO chamber, I call it. And then I also uh, have some specific bacteria that's in there. Bacteria that break down phosphorus and nitrogen and potassium, silica, magnesium, iron, sulfur, and calcium and a lot of other stuff. And a nitrate fixer, mycorrhizal fungi, a, a glumus. Uh, I use one particular type that's strong. I forgot the name of it. But it's a very strong strain of B, of uh, mycorrhizal. And um, so, yeah, I, I throw that on there and probably about, about two or three cups. And then I put some over here underneath this tarp. And then I'm going to uh, lift this tarp in about a couple days and see if there's some mycocillin growth. That we're gonna to have to just wait for a while to see the results of what's gonna happen. Um, but I'm confident that the microorganisms will burn through that carbon and nitrogen in no time and reduce it down to this. All this right here is from this year and last year leaves and garden, you know, soil and uh, just amazing stuff. It, it broke down in no time using uh, beneficial microbes. I mean, don't get me wrong, you got beneficial microbes in your leaf pile, but um, why not put in there more? <laughs> the more the merrier when it comes to bacteria. And um, if you want to get specific with certain type of bacteria that have a certain function, growth-promoting bacteria, um, you're not going to get it in a compost pile or a leaf pile or whatever. Those you're going to have to get on your own. And uh, one way you can do that is buying Grovana and inoculating your compost pile, saving it, using it for teas, or mixing it directly into your soil or compost itself, which I can do because I have a lot of it. But um, it works just as good, uh, you know, and you can order a lot too, you know, whatever. I can always cut a big deal with, uh, you know, a good deal with, uh, you know, if you're buying bulk. So, so yeah, we're going to take a look at this in a little while, probably a couple weeks. Oh, there's Charlie. He's in the compost pile eating the IMO. Get out of there. That'll show you that it's pet safe. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's wheat bran. Inoculate it with a beneficial bacteria and fungi. There you go. And that's what this is over here. I got a bee flying in the bucket. All animals love it and it's safe. And it's just bacteria mixed in with, like I said, wheat bran. Well, uh, that's pretty much it. May God bless you. I'll be back in about a, a you know, week or less to show you what happens underneath the tarp over there and uh, you know we'll take a look at this too i'm going to use my shovel mix it up really good 
and then throw a tiny bit of compost on top, but kind of keep the air going in there. Want the oxygen, it's a good thing. Um, bacteria and fungi, the kind you want, like it. You know, don't get me wrong, there's some, some bacteria that thrive better with no oxygen, but a lot, of, uh, a lot of those are pathogens, and you don't want those if you can help it. So may God bless you this day. Compost heaven, that's what this is.